<laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. That shit flew by. Damn. That shit flew by. That was so entertaining from the start. It was a spectacle. It really was. <laughs> from the beginning. Yeah. That, wow. Got three matches out of that movie. That was <laughs> wow. nice. And that last one? Oh. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> so inventive. Like, that was the first time they've done anything like that in these Rocky movies. And, like, changing up the way they portrayed the actual boxing. Like, yes. I think that was really fucking good. And they did it in such a way where it fit the story they were trying to tell. Absolutely. It was just another layer of, like, storytelling with the emphasis of, like, their childhood. Yeah, like, they were... They speaking to one another. Speaking to one Through another. The only, way, the only way they knew how. Through fighting. The only way they knew how. Wow. <laughs> I loved what <coughs> the... Uh, the trainer said at the end at that last round like right now you're boxing you need to go out there right now and fight mm -hmm. like fight for your life right now yeah dude those scenes where they like uh, again they have them in every rocky movie but i think these were done really well what the those like w those punches where you just see the sweat yes. smack out of them yeah it's the slow-mo i mean this is like the few times that i'm like i wish they had a little more slow-mo because oh, that okay. shit was looking real good because yeah the, the norm now is you get, like, so many slow-mo shit. And, yes, like, it's yes. just not even worth it. But this time, each punch was, wow. like, you felt it. I also missed the, uh, the, like, the, uh, the no-cut, like, no-cut shot. I do miss the one shot. One yeah. shot, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do miss those. I was looking for it. Oh, no, they were, it's, it's so hard. Dude. It's hard, it's but so it would have been, I mean, I wouldn't have doubted in them doing it. Because this, no. this was a show. Yeah. It was a show. Mm -hmm. Of so many different like spectacles, just a lot of technicality to it. <laughs> it was uh, it was interesting. I really like the story behind it, right? Where one person feels, uh, Dame feels like Adonis stole his life, right? Because yeah. he, from yeah. the whole beginning, they were kind of showing like Dame had the potential to be something big, yes, and it was yes. just like a misstep. And they were already part of a, a of a system that was failing them, and mm -hmm. so that one misstep really mm -hmm. put him back eighteen years. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the and like he knew right away from the beginning, like as soon as I'm getting out of here, I'm getting I'm back, back where on I that was path. supposed to be. Yes, yeah. yes. And while Adonis is, I feel like it it's something that hits like a lot of people who are from like poor neighborhoods and have made it out and are succeeding is mm, this imposter feels, syndrome yeah, yes. of like. Do I belong here? Right. Is, did I do this on my own? Uh, yeah. Did I like, earn this? Yeah. And yes, the, the, the reality is always yes. And he had to fight to believe it. And he had to like put everything he had on that ring. And holy shit, was that fight amazing. Yeah. I want to watch it again. It was really good. Let's just go back in there right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We got to work tomorrow. <laughs> but it was, it was really good. Uh, I loved the soundtrack. Yeah. The music was banging, dude. Mm -hmm. They were <coughs> amazing songs. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I definitely think it lived up to our anticipation for this movie and it delivered in a way that was meaningful. Like, it made changes to the series mm -hmm. in an impactful and interesting manner, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes. The story is, is pretty good. It's It's uh, you can even tell, like, oh, this is pretty well written. And then, of course, we see who wrote it. Yeah, Ryan Coogler. Yeah. Like, oh. I absolutely thought about him. Like, as I think the movie was ending, I'm like, who directed this? Because I thought it was going to be someone like Ryan Coogler. No, Michael B. Michael B. directed it. Yeah. I didn't know. No, you didn't know that. And I yeah. am astonished. Yeah, he did a great job. A lot of great scenes. A lot of, like... Great scenes. Great that, moments. That, really good shots. Like, just beautiful so photos. Good, dude. And you could tell <laughs> how, like, he wanted to show you that Adonis was a different type of fighter like he would note things and he would yeah from the beginning right or he was like taking note of like oh he keeps opening himself up and if I just hit here let me see wait if... and timing patience yeah exactly. control yeah. the entire time I really like that and, it, and you see it throughout the whole this last <laughs> fight too when he does this fight like it's not as pronounced because you know they're they're duking it out but that's really when he sees that last little bit of opening he's like oh i gotta take it now yeah there's, there's no other time wow it's I, so good I, one more thing that just blew my mind the performances honestly oh. there was some really great scenes for these actors and actresses like yeah. holy shit that they had their moments yeah all, almost all of them all of them all the main characters, yeah, yeah. Even I, the even the uh, the trainer, I think, had a moment right there at the end. His speech, yeah, 
this his motivational really words. Wah, wah. Yeah. But I the think mother. <laughs> the mother had a great, like, just like three scene performance, right? Because she wasn't in there for too long. And yeah. Then, but yeah. you did feel like when when she passed away, like you felt that the other actors felt that loss. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And I think what's great is seeing Adonis and his wife have a healthy relationship. That's something you oh. don't get with minorities in like these type of relationships. Or or I think boxing relationships because you've seen yeah. it a couple times. Yeah, now. exactly. Yeah, they're always like, don't do it. It's going to be bad for you. It's really like, hard to accept what they do, yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah. And be supportive of that. Yeah. And even just like being able to communicate with one another and her being like, I just want you to open up and it wasn't like something like, oh, you got to tell me or if not, I'm going to leave you. Kind right, of thing. right. It was no. more of a like, you need to open up because your daughter can't see you like Tell me when you, when you want to tell yeah exactly it so, was amazing I, I honestly really liked um uh Jonathan, Damien yeah Jonathan Majors yeah, yeah he they, fucking stole that dude. shit dude he was like when you told me that guy's a shark I he's was like a yeah shark, dude. dude he's a shark what what I didn't like I guess it was that I mean I don't know if I did or didn't like but I couldn't help but think of um his character in Loki <clears throat> oh King yeah, King. Mm-hmm. That version, though. That King. Not yeah, the not, King not that the, we knew in Ant-Man. Ant-Man King. No. The, the, the thinking King. Yeah, yeah. The Like, always kind of trying to be a step ahead. Like, trying to taunt you. Trying to, like, beat you through words and through, you know, your fighting. And mm-hmm. he was, he's just like, that shark, right? Like, always trying to poke at you. Yeah. Um, To make you weaker and weaker so I can just eat you up. <laughs> Overall, wow. Great movie. Yeah. Great movie. Yeah. Absolutely. What a, like you're saying, like, what a way to change the formula of yeah. these movies. Mm-hmm. What a way to add your own spin. But, like, elevate it. And I love the, the di- representation and diversity of the movie mm-hmm. from the beginning, right? Like, the yeah. first thing is sign language the second language is spanish yeah and i was like holy man holy crap yeah because they know like i mean the latino community is so big in boxing like they're <laughs> the biggest draw really like <laughs> yeah Latinos but to boxing. do it in a very good way yeah. very genuine way yeah that stands out and like means something means mm-hmm. something to the franchise mm-hmm and to its audience. Dude, Bravo. <laughs> yeah. And I loved all the callbacks to all the last two movies with each one of the fighters that he fought in yeah. those movies making yeah. a return. And... I love to see that those moments for like from the first movie, right? That that made him like come back to life. Yeah. I think this was a great callback to that first movie and also right at that level. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think it's it's uh it's always hard to give a reason for a movie to exist, especially once this is Technically, the third Creed movie and technically the tenth Rocky movie. Yeah, if you want <laughs> if, you, if you call the Rocky universe, it is in yeah, the tenth. Yeah, I like that. The tenth like Rocky universe. Yeah. Um, and just being one having a good enough story that you're like, this needs to be told, and I think it does. I think it they did it in a really good way. Yeah. I would have been okay if they kind of expanded a little bit more on like you know the trauma that they went through or showing just a little bit more of that so you kind of have that connection a lot of it was just like once Adonis kind of opened up a little bit I thought he was going to tell more about what kind of happened but Uh, he gave enough of like where you're like okay I I really don't need to see that enough for you to know like that's all you need to know yeah exactly Uh, so I think that's just like if I'm being nitpicky like I would like to know more uh, but I think like I said, for the 10th installment in this universe and the third for Creed, it, yeah. one, deserved to exist, and two, built on what was already there. And yeah, yeah. what it built was something genuinely new, fun, and it really, I think, exciting. Like, <laughs> they set a footing. Like, mm-hmm. uh, they, you know, they really put their mark. Yeah, 100%. They set their mark on the franchises. Like, this is a uh-huh. top-tier movie. Absolutely. Great yeah. great movie. Dude. Now I just feel bad for Rocky Five. I genuinely <laughs> still think that's the only bad Rocky movie. I mean, that's good. okay. That's okay. It's, uh, yeah. But uh, out of the three creeds, this is the third of the trilogy, and I don't know, I can't really say whether there will be more, and if there weren't, aren't. It's I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm okay with that. 
But it leaves it open ended. It where, does. It like, really does. Oh, well, he's technically champ, you know? Yeah, yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler. <laughs> um, but, I, like, in, in terms of the three creeds, definitely one and two right now. One and three, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. One and three right now. I don't know where to rank them, but I guess it's just because, like, we're right out of the theaters. And I did anticipate to like it. Yeah, I did. And I fucking am coming out glowing, Absolutely. dude. Like, thank God it was good. Because Absolutely. I was, I was so juicy. You got the job you, done I, and did a little I, more. I did more. I always appreciate the 110%, man. He went plus ultra on that shit. I know? think anyone would like to watch this in theaters, for sure. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the crowd that we had in the theater. Thursday night? Thursday night. They were Thursday night? They were into it. It was packed. They yeah, were it was laughing, packed. they were cheering, they were clapping, it was nice. It, it was, was a good vibe, good night. Thank you for taking us. Yeah, of course. Day. I <laughs> am at a solid nine. Ooh, yeah, nine yeah. Nine out of ten. Yeah, I am gonna... Yeah, I'm right there. Like, nine is great. I, mm-hmm. I definitely need to sit on it. You know, we'll give it a day or two, and we'll put out a full review. Yeah.